Oi, what are you doing? What? Who's there? Oh, I've done it again. Uh, I'm really sorry. I was only going to steal one piece of priceless artwork. Okay, I promise. I've actually been looking to diversify my portfolio recently, but I'm no billionaire. I could never afford to invest in anything like this. Don't be daft, mate. Haven't you heard of Masterworks? Masterworks? Yes, Masterworks. What's Masterworks? Yeah, they're the first platform to allow people like you and me take on the billionaire art hoarders. Yeah, they allow you to buy and sell shares in iconic artworks. You could have a little bit of Basquiat, Calder, Banksy, whatever it takes your fancy. Yes, well I have heard that contemporary artwork has increased in value over 14% in the last 25 years. Well, if you ask me, and the majority of wealth managers, now is the perfect time to diversify into artwork. I mean, the market's expected to grow $900 billion in the next four years. And Masterworks know what they're doing. They've got over 75 years worth of art buying experience. I mean, the only piece they've sold out of their collection so far returned 32% to their investors. But what if I want or need to sell my shares before Masterworks sell the piece in their collection? Simple! They've got a secondary market where you can buy and sell shares with other users whenever you want. It's just like, uh, you know, selling stocks on Robin Hood. Bet he's one of your heroes, ain't he? Eh? But to be fair, it does sound complex. You know, I'm still getting my head around this old thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've just lumped my hammer straight into your Banksy. Oh, don't worry about it, mate. That's probably put its value through the roof. Look, Masterworks could not be any simpler. All you've got to do is go to their website and create an account. Then boom, you're off to the races. You can browse their artwork and choose whenever you're ready to invest in one of the most stable assets around. Well, that sounds exciting. Well, if you think a life of crime gets your heart pumping, you actually feel the thrill of investing in artwork. So, uh, here's a wait list. Oh, for Robert Feck's sake. Look, if you want to invest in some artwork right now, you can follow my link. It's on screen and in the description. And I'll get you straight into their platform. This sounds a lot better than prison. Do you know what? I think I will. Oh, yeah, actually, now I think about it. Yeah, no, you're still going to prison, so, uh, don't know why I bothered to explain all that. Hello, Maverick. Duck. Hello, Hello Captain. Captain. Whoa, Big 28. Nobody's been this close before. Somebody's turning into quite the glory hog around here. Koga, you look very sweaty. Koga! I'm sending you to Top Gun. Gentlemen, welcome to Top Gun. That's him. Fireman. Why do they call him that? This is his real name, Sam. We're going to make you slightly better. Subject to the limited available funding, obviously. Any kind of romantic subplot would have just been boring and long as hell. The budget's a bit tight on flying hours. So today you're doing indoor sports. And tomorrow you've got volleyball. Then Monday from Friday you're on the tennis courts. Lovely. You guys really are cowboys. No way that shot was in. What's your problem, Kazanski? You're everyone's problem. Every time you raise your racket in the air, you're unsafe. I don't like you. Because you're dangerous. That's right, Fire. I am. I am the dangerous man. Talk to me, Duck. Tally ho. Bandit, two miles out. I see him. It's slow worm. Really? You've got excellent eyesight, Mav. I know. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Watch the mountains. Okay, gentlemen. It's time to compete for the Top Gun Trophy. You'll be flying against an A4 because we got it very cheap on the second-hand market. First one to catch Slow Worm wins. And remember, there's no biscuits for second place. Come on, come on, Jesus Christ, fire! What? I, I can't get the angle. I'm, I'm switching to guns. Fire! Yes? Fire or clear? Huh? Fire, take the shot! I just need another 20 seconds, and I've got him. Jesus Christ, I can take the shot right here! 10 more seconds. Come off high right fire, I'm in! 
I'm off. Shit! I'm in his jet wash. Oh, bollocks. This is not good. I'm losing control. Duck! I can't. I can't control it. It won't recover. This is not good. Oh, I'm in a flat spin. Oh my. I'm heading out to sea. Altitude, 7,000. 6,000. Oh, oh, hang on. That aircraft cost a bloody fortune. I don't think I'll ever recover, sir. Well, is it worth recovering? That's what I said. I mean, sending out the rescue helicopter was bad enough. Do you know how much they charge per hour? It's dark. He's, he's dead. Oh, right. Sorry. Um, this is uh, post-traumatic stress. Recovering from this can be a long and difficult and expensive road. So best just buck up and get in your airplane. All right? Mav, I'm really sorry about, uh, that. What was his name? Duck, duck, duck. Everybody, um, anyway, hello. Guess who, uh, guess who won the Top Gun trophy, huh? Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, anyway, uh, we have to depart immediately. There's a crisis situation in the South Atlantic. We have to provide some air support cover. Some mix with Exocet missiles. Go figure. So who are these guys we're fighting again? Are they Russian? I mean, I'm assuming they're going to be flying mig 28 so you'd think they were Russian, but nobody's actually said that. For a moment, I thought it might be the art. We've got two bogeys coming straight at us, Mav. Ten miles, doing 500 knots. Talk to me, duck. Talk to me, duck. Just fire a bloody missile at them. They're all aspect sidewinders. I got turned. Firing. That was easy. Hang on, Mav. We've got another bogey. He's fired a missile! Um. Well, come on then. Deploy countermeasures. Hi, uh, time to deploy countermeasures. Deploy the what now? What, what, which, which button's that? These things only carry two missiles. I'm switching to guns. Shooting rats in a barrel. You, you can be my wingman. Any wow. That's for Doug, you dick. Hello, Maverick. Have you seen firemen anywhere? Accident. Oh well. How does it feel to have your face on the front of every newspaper in the English-speaking world? Must be nice for you. Still, it won't last. <laughs> Not since World War Three has just started against those guys who are our enemies. Given any thought as to what you'll do next? Well, actually, I was thinking of becoming an instructor. A Top Gun, sir. Top Gun? Really? No, no, obviously not, because I'm joking, aren't I? No, I had to watch the film 15 times to write this shit. Yes, I'll never get those 30 hours back, will I? Yeah, it was all drivel, mostly soft sports and posing. Not nearly enough flying. I mean, the most exciting part was when my best friend died in a plane crash. Utter drivel. Thank God we didn't do the love scenes. 